Hi everyone, James Mantle here bringing you yet another video. Oh my god, you guys, it's time for yet another episode of It Came From Amazon. Yes, oh my gosh. Oh, I sound like Vince McMahon when I said that. Amazon, you're fired. <laughs> Yes, I went searching through Amazon when I typed in drag queen wigs. This came up. And baby, it is a shout. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, it came here in some nondescript packaging with a big red warning label. Alert, alert, alert. It says here, warning, please do not remove or bend this card. If you remove or bend this card, this item, this will, item not will not be refunded. refunded. Oops. <laughs> I may live to regret that later. All right, what the, what the f Okay, here we go. This says here, size adult. And the name of the wig is Nunique Collections Halloween Party Online. So that's the brand. And um, it doesn't have a name. She need a name is what she's gonna call it, okay? Ugh. Pull that out. Then scratch me in the scalp later. Let's take a look at this wig. It is non-flammable, 100% synthetic fiber, origin from Japan. Okay, wig made in Bangladesh. Okay, so it's been all over. Okay, so that's the inside of the cap right there. And there seems to be like some buckram like domes right here on top. <laughs> it's like a bunny rabbit. Oh my gosh. It's your standard wig with like the tracks sewed to ribbon. So it's actually well made. So I'll give them that. I am curious what she looks like on the head because already She's looking very interesting. So without further ado, I am going to take off this beautiful wig and put on this. Pray for me. Be right back. <laughs> All right, welcome back. This is the wig on the head. And what the, f what is this? What in the world? Okay, I have to look at what Amazon said it is. Okay, so apparently it's got a very long name Ernie was telling me, let's see. Let's see what they titled this. It is Adult Unisex Reality Show Drag Blue Curly Queen of Hearts Diva Wig Synthetic Soft Fibers Perfect for Your Halloween and Cosplay Party. That's the title of this wig. Just in case you're wondering, I'm not putting that in the description. Here we go. Okay, so a reality show wig. I wonder what they mean by that. Drag Diva Wig. I have a theory. May I pose a theory? Judging from like the way they combed everything out and tried their best to style this thing. I am guessing this is supposed to be like their interpretation of like a weekday wigs or something like that. <laughs> like one of those structural wigs that like, you know, goes high up on the head with like the beautiful finger waves on the side. This was their interpretation. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what is up with the cones? Like it, it's not even queen of hearts, okay? Cause like her hair is red and she never wore hair like this. Like, what is it supposed to be? What did it aspire to be? Like, I'm, I think that is probably what they were going for. I honestly think I'm onto something here. Sherlock James is on the case, okay? Sherlock Holmes, she's gonna solve it. Oh my gosh. Well, I have to say, I hate it. It's not my favorite, but we're gonna style something out. I feel like them bob, are they bobbing, Ernie? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it, so let's take it off, all right? Let's start styling it. I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, the wig is all pinned on the head, and she is a shout. Let's just say that much, okay? Um, Yeah, looking at it, this is like the oldest grade of costume wig hair that I've dealt with in a while. This is, it feels like it's from the 90s, how old this hair feels. <laughs> like it's what, like they were at the factory and thought, you know what, we have this left over, just use that. That's literally what I'm feeling right now. Okay, um, let's try brushing it first so I can see what we're dealing with here. Okay. She's fighting back at the end, so that's fun. Um, it's not great, but it's something. All right, we're gonna try and work with it. So let's try and put some teasing into it because she's already got these fun poodle bangs. So let's let's keep those, all right? Because that gives her a little personality. So we'll keep that, but we're gonna try and tease everything else. Oh Lord, what did I sign up for here? Okay, um, let's try teasing it. First things first, let's grab this hair and see where she takes us. This is like the oldest grade of hair I've worked with in a long time. <laughs> Like I haven't felt this kind of hair since I lived in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I used to get like those wigs from the part, like the costume supply store. Not like the party store, like Party City, but like costume supply, you know, like for theater and stuff. 
And I don't know what it is, but they always had the worst wigs there. Like the wigs they used in theater in Milwaukee, it was just like, this is horrible quality hair and you're charging like top dollar for it. Like what is wrong with you? It's before I knew anything about wigs. But like having like, it's so crazy how like, at that point I could get a nicer wig on Amazon and they're charging me like $70 for this wig that sat there for 15 years. My God, if I knew then what I knew now, I'd have a tiger by the tail. Ugh, God, yeah, this is disgusting. This hair is gross. Like it totally went away too. Like, look at that. Like everything went away as soon as I put teasing into it. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, well, we'll see what we can do. Cause at this point it's given us like a cat in the hat kind of thing. A little bit of a, you know, thing one, thing two. This is, you know, thing infinity. You know, it's that one that didn't quite make it in the books, you know, thing zero, thing negative one. Wait, this is horrible. Okay, well, we signed up for it now. Here we go. Ew, okay, get unseparated. Okay, it's knotted up at the, at the bottom and it's a brand new wig, allegedly. I'm telling you, I feel like they Franken-wigged this together with existing parts. Like they said, you know what? We had these cones left over from Halloween when we did the like Sanderson sisters wigs. Just throw some blue tracks on it. Who cares where they're from or how long they've been sitting around? My God. Ugh. I'm losing myself in the hair. I am so curious what this end result is gonna look like. Even the bottom of the wig is horrible. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm going to tease this all out and I'll be right back, okay guys? What in the hell? Oh my gosh. I feel like Indiana Jones right now going through this brush. <laughs> all right, I am back. Girl, this was, this was a challenge, okay? So I had to root the hairline all around. So I did a drag queen wig line all throughout the wig. And basically I'm gonna make it into an updo now because I'll take it down for you to show you. But honey, the hair quality on this is beyond suspicious, all right? It should be arrested. As soon as I teased the curls, they all vanished and became just a nest. So I'm gonna be using a lot of hairspray to basically fix that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna work on these little like comb pieces. So I'm gonna clip her up out of the way for now and we're gonna work on our cones, okay? Oh, all right. So I have an idea of where I could take it to where it could be something kind of cute and wearable. All right, so she's gonna be serving a total Sailor Moon villain and I'm not mad at that. I'm not touching these curls up front. These Lucy curls are gonna stay here <laughs> and we're gonna try and do something with these little pieces up top. Like I'm gonna add the littlest bit of tease to it just to structure it and then try and keep the curl as much as possible. All right, and if you're wondering how I did the hairline, I have a whole dedicated video on how to do that on this channel. So I will link that down below for you folks. It's actually a lot easier than it seems. Don't let it intimidate you. Huh. Also, I'm curious, do you have opinions? Because I sure do. I have a brand new channel called It's Just James, okay? Where I talk about all the things I'm obsessed with with pop culture. It's my out of drag channel, so be sure and check that out and leave an, a comment ogling how beautiful I am out of drag. I, I need this for my self-esteem, okay? This is horrible. I hate every bit about this. It is giving like they had leftovers from Hocus Pocus and said, you know, throw it in this wig. And now I'm the one suffering through it. I am curious who's ever bought this wig. I wonder if it's ever sold or if I'm the only one that's ever purchased it. <laughs> Who purchases this? Like, unless they're doing like Cat in the Hat the musical, but even then you can find better wigs. <laughs> like, who is this for? All right, well, she's looking a little ratty tatty, but that's fine. You know, we're gonna try and salvage as much as we can. You guys, I hate to come out like this, but I've become a total, you know, middle-aged person. Because <laughs> I just sit at home now and watch 2020 to relax. That's crazy to me. The worst crimes in America happening just like horrible things. And like, I saw this meme the other day where it's just like, imagine, you know, someone's watching 2020 and you got murdered and they skip it because the episode was boring. <laughs> Mortified, my biggest fear. <laughs> Heaven forbid you like go out in a dull way <laughs> or it takes too long to get to the point. That's where we are right now with true crime. <laughs> like you really gotta hook them. Ugh. Okay, so now they are just big teased up masses. It's looking a bit like a blue Lucy, if that makes any sense. Like, I love Lucy. Let's try and make something pretty out of it. I don't like how like the cones bend specific ways. Like one's bent back and one's bent forward to the side. 
Like it's got a lean to it. What can I turn you into? Because as soon as you brush through it, the curl kind of vanishes. And like, it's not even a pretty curl. Like it's like it's worth saving or anything. I know some of you are thinking, maybe you should try and make it a structural wig. Let me tell you right now, these fibers were not made for that, okay? I don't know what they were built for. They were built for sitting on a costume shop shelf for over 50 years, okay? Because that's exactly what I'm getting from it. It's like, you know, those old costume company wig catalogs are just like, who in the world ever bought that? Okay, now I'm gonna figure out just what the hell I'm gonna do with this and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I, I need a break. <laughs> BRB. All right, in case you haven't heard, these fibers suck. So what I've been doing here is just restructuring the curls a little bit with a brush. I tease them out and I'm just gonna try and salvage what I can out of the ends. Cause honestly, it's about the only way you're gonna get a cute hairstyle out of it. So, smoothing brush and just grabbing it section by section and trying to work something cute out of the curls not pulling too much hair at a time. Because yeah, it's dialing up like Sailor Moon Villain meets March Simpson meets like, like I'm losing my mind trying to think of references for it. Or even like the um the girl from Inside Out, Joy. <laughs> she had blue hair, right? I never really remember the characters in Inside Out except for the dad. That is a question. For those of you who've been to Disneyland, is he at Disneyland? The dad from Inside Out? Because then I would go. It's like Prince Philip, Aladdin, the dad from, from Inside Out. That's what I need in order to go to Disneyland. Otherwise, I have no interest. Oh, and Gaston, Gaston too. Oh, that's a good subject for discussion. Guys, I wanna know who was your Disney crush growing up? I must know. And you will not be judged. You will not be judged. Maybe just a little. Okay, it's coming together. I mean, it's gonna take a little bit. I'm not even gonna lie to you, it's gonna take a bit. Coming from what it was to what it's becoming, she's looking a little cuter. I will say that. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my God. Well, the next thing we do is hit it all with hairspray so we can kind of blend them all together. So it kind of smashes up like that. Can't believe I managed to come around to something with this. I was so nervous. Okay. Holy crap. That took years off my life. It's also kind of giving like prom for Coraline because she had blue hair too. <laughs> Which I've been obsessed with recently. Like I've been watching all the interviews for Coraline with like Neil Gaiman and Terry Hatcher. Love it, okay? It's looking like it could possibly work, okay? Like, hear me out, it could work, it's gonna work. But that's where it's all meeting in the front, so I just gotta work these ends and make them curly to blend with everything. And I think it honestly could be a cute hairstyle, especially with like these little curls in front. Like you can't tell her nothing, all right? So let me just clip this ear <laughs> now. All she needs to do now is just combine these curls and like blend them back. And we have a hairstyle formed here, okay? We did it, y'all. We did it, we did it. I understand there is a big old hole in the side right here. I'm gonna use the scrap hair that I cut from the hairline to cover that up. That's the one good thing about doing these rooted hairlines is you can honestly just like use hairspray to glue them back in. All right, just trim this a little bit. Which honestly, you need a haircut anyway. <laughs> is she the sexiest hairstyle in the world? No, but you know what? She's gonna be a hairstyle and that's what matters. I just need to bobby pin a few sections here and there, but that's kind of how she's looking and I'm not mad at it. Like it's kind of dumb. But also, you know what? It is what it is. I just need to pin this section down a little bit and we got kind of like a cool hairstyle coming here. So I'm gonna pin her down and I'll be back with what will probably be the final result. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. And oh my God, it's kind of stupid, but I love it. It is kind of serving Queen of Hearts now that I'm looking at it. Like if you like did all this work and really like struggled with it, you could achieve the Queen of Hearts wig that it was intended for. <laughs> but honestly, I'm not mad at it. It's not approved by any means. And that's not any means is it approved. This is James Mansfield unapproved, okay? But I have to say, like, I'm not mad at the final result, but it took a journey to get here, okay? It was like The Hobbit mixed with Lord of the Rings, mixed with however long it took for Daenerys' dragons and Game of Thrones to grow up, okay? It was too long of a journey, all right? We're waiting, okay? So this is the hair. I hope you guys like it because I cannot wait to not look at it again. <laughs> the fibers were horrible. Like these old fibers, like we feel like they're from the 1980s. Like they're so old and so grody to work with. I don't understand how anyone ever worked with them. If anyone's around for like when these fibers are actually on the market, please let me know. I want to know your horror stories. What were your methods of going after them? What was your plan of attack? I must know. And now I'd like to take a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what in the Hunger Games is that way? It's so stupid. <laughs>
And now I'd like to take a moment of Venmo where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Andrew, Christine, and Patrick. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo. And I also have some YouTube super thanks from Chris, thank you Chris. Roger, thank you so much. As well as Lee, thank you Lee. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo and the YouTube super thanks. Okay, now I wish I could say this is a lot of fun to do, but it actually was a lot of work and I cannot wait to take off my head. It is serving like a Marge Simpson in the Hunger Games kind of vibe. And I normally would love that if I didn't have to make it. So folks, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure and check out my boy channel. It's just James, okay? Where I discuss important topics like, you know, Britney Spears. And folks, if you want to own anything from this channel, please check out my Depop page where I'll be selling dresses I've worn as well as wigs, dolls, and whatever I feel like getting rid of, okay? I'm trying to downsize. Now, again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. <laughs> Click here into me, Stella. We got found on the ground. Or check out my new channel. It's Just James, okay? Where I talk about the iconic kiss between Britney Spears and Madonna. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, you'll turn into this blue wig. So click it. It's going to be that.